Congratulations, you've just received your decent espresso machine and we're gonna bust open the suitcase and take a look inside. Before you do, don't throw away that cardboard box. Please break it down and keep it in case we ever need to repair the machine and send it back to us. It'll be much less expensive to ship it back. So here we go. Here's our espresso machine and we're gonna unzip here and open it up. What you find here is the packaging and you just flip it to the side like so. And here's the espresso machine. Now quickly going through, espresso machine, accessories, porta filter, group head handle. Here's the tablet. Here's the water tank here and here's the drip tray. So first thing to do here is take out the accessories. Now this has your power cord, your basket and the stand for the tablet. I'll do that here. I'm going to take the tablet out as well. You will notice that it has a protective plastic on it and it says, please peel this off. Every time a customer puts a photo on Instagram that still has this sticker, I die a little death. So please take this piece of plastic off before you use the machine. It's there to keep scratches off, not for permanent use. Next, I'm going to take the porta filter out uh, inside your accessories box here you will find your porta filter basket you take it out put it in like so into your porta filter and give it a tap so it locks in take your espresso machine out now that you have the espresso machine out you can take the water tank out which is this the handle here goes in front so slide it in here and put it in like so and in the back you'll feel a lever it's on the back right side if you lift it you can hear it clanking in order to push this back all the way you need to lift the lever push that bank push that in like so so that goes in like that and finally you have the group head handle there's a little black washer already screwed onto it that's going to go here that's so that you can use your right hand in order to tighten the porta filter on the espresso machine, which is in fact what we're going to do next. Take our porta filter in, and if you look under here, you'll see a little round circle that cups the porta filter. So what you do is you just slide it in like that, and when you feel it lock, it slides in, and you don't need to tighten this all that hard. Uh, I often just do that with one hand, but the gasket will do its job and maintain the seal. If you push too hard, you're going to tire the gasket out. You'll have to replace it sooner. All right, next, you're going to use this piece of paper in order to decide how you want to angle the tablet because you can change the angle of the tablet like so depending on how tall you are and the height of your desk. Now, what you'll find in your accessories box here is this white box. This is a steely stand. And inside you have a few goodies. Here is a blank basket. You'll need that uh, eventually to clean. You'll be putting a cleaning product in here and locking it in, but you don't need that now. You will want this. This is the key thing that we have to deal with right now. And then the other part is this magnet right here. That. Now the way this is going to work is the magnet is going to go right there. And then the stand is going to lock in like so. And the tablet is going to glue here. So the key question I have for you is where do you want the angle of the tablet to be? Now most of the time the center is really the best. And that's why on this guide We've put this like so, so that the center hole is there to guide you. Now, if that's what you want to do, what you're going to do is peel off the wax paper here and then just carefully stick that right there like so. If you'd like to angle it further up or down, just slide this guide up or down so that you're at the position you like. Next, you'll find a power cord, and this is a special extra thick power cord so that it doesn't warm up as you use your espresso machine. And you're going to plug this first into your espresso machine, then into a power plug. I'm done with the suitcase now, so I'm going to put that aside. Now I've gone ahead and glued the stand to the tablet. Now what I'll typically do is take the magnet off and put it there. There is a magnet on the back side of the chassis, so it's now glued into the right place. 
and then place it down here. Now, one thing to note that people get confused about, the tablet stand is supposed to touch the, <clears throat> the espresso machine, and this is what it looks like. It is slightly down below the edge of the ball. It is not meant to hold it up in the air because that just falls down, right? So there's your magnet, and then that locks in like so, and slide it into place. The idea here is that as you tap this, it doesn't move. Next, you're going to take the USB cable that came with your machine. You're going to plug one end into the espresso machine, and the other end is going to plug into the tablet. You're now ready to turn your tablet on. To do that, you're going to hold the power button, which is the button on the top left of the tablet. You hold it down for about five seconds and then let go and you'll see that it says Android and it takes a while to boot up. Next, you're going to put water into the water tank before you turn the machine on. So to do that, you take the drip tray off, you put your hand on that lever back here, and then you put your hand here and you pull the water tank forward. I usually push the steam wand out of the way and use a jug of water to fill the water tank up. Now my preference is that you not use tap water unless you've got a source of calcium low water. You're better off buying water from the grocery store in five gallon or 10 liter bottles. Once you've filled up the water tank, you're going to lift the lever up again, push the water tank back on the rails, let that lever come down, take your drip tray, lock it in here, and put your steam wand into place. You're now ready to turn your espresso machine on, and just to warn you, the first time you turn it on, it will make a lot of noise because the pumps are just pumping air, and so it's a lot louder. So here goes. And you'll hear it go cha 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 chunk and try and get water into the system. So that's what that sounds like. First tentative try. And now a lot of noise as the water gets filled into the tubes. And then a psh sound which means that everything's okay. That sound is a pressure test. The machine is happy now, and it's circulating the water as it warms up. At this point, you can turn the tablet on, and you'll see your Android desktop, and the icon you want is the D1 Plus app, which you'll tap, and we've already paired the app with your espresso machine. So as it says, wait, start, connected, and then you'll see that the middle temperature is increasing. At this point, you're waiting for the machine to warm up. It'll take about four minutes for the metal temperature to hit the gold temperature, at which point you're ready to go and you can make espresso.